Here we have a director of photography in the wild. I think this is a Ben, possibly a Ben Staley. There is lightning on the horizon. Watch his movements, they're getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there. Welcome back to Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley. Yeah, I thought we'd get out of the office today. It's been really hot here in Southern California for the last week, and I've been mostly inside because it's too darn hot. And uh, cooled off today down to a chilly, I don't know, 82 degrees or something. So I thought I'd come out here and talk to y'all about making landscapes with your Leica Q2. Or maybe you don't have a Q2, but you want to know what landscapes look like with the Q2. Well, I'm going to show you some. Uh, and, and keep in mind, these images I'm going to show you, I've shot uh, over the last, I'd say, 11 months of having the camera. Had it almost a year now. And uh, it's the only digital camera I own anymore. I have uh, taken it to a bunch of different countries and, you know, carried it with me almost constantly for the last 11 months. Uh, these landscapes are not, uh, they're not like uh, the kind of fancy landscapes where you have a bunch of filters and a tripod and all that. These are mostly just snapshot compositions, right? Uh, that's how I use the camera. So didn't use any filters at any point. Uh, most of the time didn't even have a tripod, although there's a couple that I believe I shot with a tripod that I'm gonna show you. Uh, but it'll give you a good idea of what that Sumalux lens is capable of. It's a 1.7, although a lot of times I stop down. And uh, it'll, it'll let you know what that 28 millimeter focal length looks like in a variety of situations. And, uh, you know, I put the, I'm gonna put the settings on the screen so uh, you can kind of see what I did. Maybe I'll talk about it, maybe I won't, but it's there in case you're wondering. Uh, where is my Q2? I am uh, out here on this spot that I really like. It's just really beautiful, overlooking Castaic Lake, which is a man-made lake due to a, uh, a dam that's over there a few miles around the corner. Uh, anyways, I am, uh, I am shooting a little time lapse with my Q2 at the, at the present moment. It's right over there love shooting time lapses it's like a it's like a moving landscape so spoiler alert <laughs> i was walking around earlier this morning before it got too hot taking some pictures and i came back and i knew i was going to come out here this evening around sundown sun is just about down and uh talk to y'all and shoot a time lapse and uh for some reason it didn't occur to me to charge my batteries so I don't know how much of a time lapse we're gonna have. What an idiot I am. I've done literally thousands of time lapses over the years. You'd think I would remember to charge my frickin' battery. Uh, anyways, I like time lapses. They're like, uh, they're like this little present that you get to open up later and look at. So we'll see what we got. If, uh, if there's anything worth looking at, maybe it'll be at the end of this video. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> It would be pretty stupid if I went through all this effort and then I uh, didn't have enough batteries to show you a good time lapse. Uh, and if it does work, just so you know, I'm doing an interval of uh, one shot every eh, 10 seconds, I think. So at that rate, it takes eh, four minutes to do one second of, of video. Um, and the Q2 is cool doing time lapses with. I've done a few since I've had it. Uh, I don't do them a lot, although I think I'm going to start doing more, and maybe I'll even do a video on time lapses. I'm really getting off topic here. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just excited to be out here. It's nice. Um, anyways, the cool thing about the Q2 is it's got, like, 
Oh man, I can I even remember? It's got a shit ton, a metric shit ton of megapixels. 47 megapixels? You can make 8K time lapses. It's freaking awesome. So, uh, sorry about the foul language. Like I said, I'm excited to be out here. So uh, let's get into it. All right, let's uh, let's look at some of the landscapes I've gotten over the past 11 months with my Q2. Here we go. Boom. Okay, here we are, folks. Our first group of landscapes find us down in the jungles of Mexico near the Guatemala border. Very dense jungle down there. There's a little village. Oh, it's a macro of a barbed wire fence. I mean, I don't know if that's technically a landscape, but hey, it's my video. I loved photographing this bamboo. That's a ceiba tree, sacred to the Mayan people. Massive tree! And there's a dead bug on my nightstand. Now, I got sort of obsessed with doing slow shutter shots of uh, this little creek. So you're going to see a bunch of those. And the information's up there on the right hand, top right hand corner. I didn't have a tripod for these. Like I said, I was resting the camera on some rocks. And I would sort of stabilize it with one hand and press the shutter with the other hand. Fun. I love experimenting like this. I think that one is my favorite. The coolest thing in my book about the Q2, one of the coolest things, is it's weather sealed. So I routinely would shoot in the pouring rain. That's Q2 video. Pouring in this little village. Now you can't tell it's raining pretty good here and these kids are out there playing soccer. I sat there for about a half an hour and took a bunch of pictures. Here's a few. Now we're back in California. There's a long shutter of this stretch of highway. And that's Los Angeles from up near the Getty Center, overlooking the 405. That's downtown LA in the background. Okay, last fall, I went out to the Salton Sea for a couple days with my good buddy Bonnie. We tromped around and got a bunch of shots. Q2 landscapes here. Found some sand dunes. Okay, folks, I know my aspect ratios and my cropping is all over the place. I know that's an issue. I'm working on it. I promise I'm working on it. Please don't hold it against me. Love these colors. This is uh, early in the morning. The sun has just come up. That's why you have that really direct angular sunlight. It's a flock of birds out there some old decrepit building there's another slow shutter that's somewhere in Oregon and now we're back in downtown LA just hiking around I like to shoot uh, slow shutter shots from a moving vehicle not what I'm driving now my wife's probably driving here I'm resting the camera on the dash, just seeing what I can get. This is uh, actually South Dakota, so we're jumping around a little bit here. Now we're back in downtown LA. Handheld. And this is resting on the dash. This is on the 101 freeway heading north. Coming right out of Hollywood. I think I took this one driving. I'm stuck in rush hour traffic. This is what happens when you shoot pictures and drive, folks. Do not do it. And now we are in Death Valley. A bunch of landscapes here from a Death Valley trip I did with some pals last fall. You may have seen the video. More Death Valley. Love the dunes out there. I could go to Death Valley four or five times a year. I really get inspired by the landscape by the harsh conditions. It's very stark, it's very unforgiving. I just find endless photographic possibilities. Can't go in the summer though, too darn hot. I like to go in the winter. 
Looking forward to the next trip. There's a parking spot near my house. And now we're in Alaska. That's an unedited photo. That's right out of the camera. There's a night street scene. This is December in Alaska. It's an icy road. You know, a macro shot of an icy road. Now we're in California again. This is up near San Luis Obispo. I was doing a, a job. There's my camera. So a lot of times when I'm working, I'll keep the Q2 slung over my shoulder. I do uh, mostly camera work for a living, but I uh, always have the Q2 with me so I can get shots in between. That was an old abandoned highway. A little uh, tree growing up through the asphalt. I like this uh, little residential scene. I love that cactus growing out of the side of that building. I think I need to go back there and take a film shot of that sucker. Okay, this is the Antelope Valley. Now in late December, early January, it snowed out there. Now right now it's probably 100 degrees out there, but it snowed three or four inches and uh, the snow stuck around for a few days. I drove out there. I wish I had captured some video. It was unreal. Never seen so much snow out there. This is like Mojave Desert, folks. There should not be that much snow. I'm super fond of these pictures. I drove around for a couple hours and just, I don't know, took, took several hundred shots. Looks like Hoth. That is my desktop wallpaper on my laptop. Here's some of the rolling hills uh, kind of near where I live. This is out the 395 freeway if you're heading towards, I don't know, Mammoth or uh, Yosemite. Here's some trails near where I live. I like these shots. There's my forerunner. Early this spring, I did a job out in the Bahamas. That's some Q2 video. There's some kind of crane or stork or some kind of bird. There's a low tide from this island we were working on. There's our camera assistant, Chris, lugging a tripod somewhere. There's another crew member. That's an airport in Zurich. And this is Namibia. Look at those clouds. Wish I'd have spent more time there. It's a spot near my house. Another spot near my house. These are some salt flats out in the Antelope Valley. Went out here with my wife, Danny, uh, right at sunset and uh, got some pretty cool landscapes. I'm very happy with these shots coming up and I did just a little bit of color editing to them, but the colors were insane. Very purpley blue after the sun went down, just magical. Just otherworldly. I look at these shots and I just want to go back out there. We got there like almost too late. We probably were. If we'd have gotten there 10 minutes later, we would have been too late. So we were in a hurry. The good light was disappearing fast. That's flying somewhere over southern Utah, I think. There's a cheap motel in South Dakota. And that's in the alley behind the cheap, cheap motel. <laughs> A 
love these clouds in South Dakota. Just moody, dark clouds and routine little uh, you know rain rainstorms just roll across the plains and douse you all of a sudden and then just go away. Just the light is changing all the time. It's really inspiring. We don't really get that in Southern California. It's mostly blue. You don't get these dark, moody, heavy clouds. Really love to go back there and, and shoot more of that. There's a rainbow in black and white. I know, I got problems. Oh, and now we're back to the lightning. Here we have Ben Staley in the wild. My buddy Kelvon took this with his iPhone. Yeah, it's lightning on the horizon. Now the only tripod that I had out there was a big heavy one we were using for the video cameras we were filming with. So I didn't have a plate that would fit the Q2. So I just arrested the Q2 on top of the tripod and uh, managed to get these two shots, which I'm very, very fond of. Epic. Sunset. Dang. That's why I love this spot. Anywhere along here, you get that amazing sunset. My little time lapse is still going. That Q2 battery is just hanging on. Boom. Boom. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see what we're going to get. I wish I'd have pointed it at the sunset. It was just it was kind of blowing it out. And I knew that I would miss most of the time lapse because it would just be too too overexposed and then if I stopped down too much it would be underexposed and so I pointed at the hills over here just hoping I would get the light leaving them as the sun dipped. We'll see. That was my choice. Anyways, this isn't a time lapse video. Hope you liked it. Hope you liked some of those uh, landscapes. Hope it gives you a good idea of what the uh, what the Q2 is capable of. It's a very capable little camera. Surprises me all the time. I can do portraits with it. I love the macro. Maybe you've seen the video I did. I love shooting landscapes with it. It's just like a it's a go anywhere camera. They really did they did well making that camera. Well, look, thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching. Uh, just because I got to, I'm going to kind of remind you, if you haven't already, please maybe hit that subscribe button. If the video was helpful, maybe give it the old thumbs up. They tell me that that stuff helps. I'm not certain it does, but uh, I appreciate every little thumbs up that I get. So thanks for tuning in. You guys take care of yourselves out there. It's a strange world. Get out there, make some art, have some adventures. You don't even have to go far from your front door. I hope I see you in the next one. I gotta get out of here before it gets too dark. I got a little over maybe a mile and a half hike back to the highway where my truck is parked. Probably should pack it up and get out of here don't want to get into headlamp territory. It's just so nice and cool and peaceful out here. I almost don't want to leave. Wish I had a cold beer. Thanks again, folks. Take it easy.